Hi, I'm Penny. This is Penelope's Pit Stop, and in this video, we're going all Eastern European. Welcome to the uh, Fiat 126 build by uh, Polsky Fiat. Um, now this is a build that I had orig originally um, been building with Fleetwood J. <coughs> I believe I did it on his channel with him and we were doing it as live builds. A um, couple of small issues I had with it. Um, I had a broken part which I had to replace. Um, and a couple of really complex bits but it, it was the engine and quite often you find the engine is is quite complicated um, I have completed three packs um, <coughs> now we took a break for a while because um, I believe it was due to COVID um, there was no more production of, of the packs so we waited about five months um, but I've I, it was meant to be a project that we were doing on on another channel but and then I was doing it on my own um, off camera and now I've decided to bring it back onto my YouTube channel um, unfortunately it means that I've already built 15 stages or three packs um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, some individual pieces um, and then what I'll do is I'll do a montage of the instructions and I'll put a little piece of backing music to it. Um, be warned that each page of the instruction will only come up for about four seconds. A um, little slightly bit longer, I've timed it for the music. Um, so if you wanna read the instructions really carefully, get your pause button ready. Um, otherwise the whole montage will last about, I think it's about three minutes. Um, so yeah, let's look at the parts and then we'll look at the instructions. So this is stage one complete, and straight away you know it's the Fiat 126. Um, that badge looks like it slipped a little bit. Oh dear, never mind. So there's the Polsky Fiat badge, and you know you you can just that bit there. You can picture it. Um, that's what I absolutely love about it. Um, the colour I wasn't too keen on to start with, um, but it's really growing on me, and I really really love it. Um, the indicator is a little bit confusing because you see that they're angled um, but we soon got through that and you can see that there's going to be an L LED in there. Stage 2 was the bonnet um, and there wasn't a massive amount to do, there's a couple of little braces to put in there um, but obviously the lot, of, lot of the cost is to do with the size of the piece. I'll just hold my hand over there um, so you just get a rough idea of the size and um, although this isn't exactly how it's going to go together when you start to hold it with with the uh, the front grill you can you can see that's that's definitely going to be a Fiat 126 or Polsky 126 um, so unfortunately this does suffer a little bit with the here's some parts put them away for a long time um, but I, I just know it's going to be worth it in the end Stage three is just called a wheel and a tire um, and that probably sounds quite boring but um, it gives you a chance to look at the detail that they're going to and you can see the tread on there, um, you can see the make, make of the tire, um, it's all little detail that you know if they didn't include it they might well have got away with it, um, the little tire uh, valve there. Um, and again, it just, it's a little part that just tells you the size of it. Um, I'm just really impressed with this. Uh, the detail's fantastic. So stage four, four sorry, is the, uh, the susp uh, front suspension. Um, so again, on its own, it doesn't look an awful lot, but you can see that the wheel's gonna go into there. Um, and you can tell from this part here, there's gonna be steering. Um, you can see that something's going to come across there and that will be controlled by a steering wheel. Um, so it's giving you a lot of potential 
um, to see what's going to happen. It's going to have a, you know show you the parts, uh, what's going to happen, um, and obviously it's, the suspension is going to go up. Obviously there'll be springs and things going in later, but that actually for one issue wasn't a bad build. I quite enjoyed it. So um, stage five was uh, the engine block. Um, six was the transmission. Seven was the fan. Um, now they did make a little bit of a mistake in the uh, PDF. Um, they called stage eight stage seven, which is a duplicate. Um, but stage eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve were all various parts of the engine assembly. Um, stage thirteen was the silencer, which was quite a short part. It's just the silver part. And then you've got the fuel pump, um, which I think also added this bracket on as well. Um, and then 15 was the chassis, and you can see it's quite, it's a big old big lump of metal. And then we add all of the engine onto the, uh, um, onto the chassis, which is why I've not been able to go into too much detail. But, but having um, the engine stretch over three packs was was quite a lot and it just shows the detail that they're going through so this is all the detail on the engine um, the only query I have and perhaps it's on purpose um, when you attach it to the end uh, to the chassis you only attach it there which gives it a bit of movement um, whether that's intentional I don't know or maybe I've missed a part out um, if you're building this please tell me if I've done something wrong um, I don't see a problem with it um, but yeah that is it up to stage 15 um, we also have this small part here and I can't remember offhand what it is but it's obviously going to have something to do with the body because it does have the colouring of the body um, so yeah that's where I'm up to um, let me just pull the camera up just so I can manipulate some of my shops, shots a little bit better so I think the detail on this is absolutely fabulous. I really cannot fault it. Um, but also we have now reached the stage where we can see how big it was, um, how big it is. There's, there's the wheel, which I keep my parts all wrapped up. So the wheel's gonna go round about there. Um, and then you've got the front grille, which is gonna go roughly about there. Um, unfortunately I've positioned these in a way that I can't actually show you at the front now um, but then we'll have the bonnet which goes about there so we can start to see you know the the front bit is uh, front seats are going to go around about there um, you've got the back seats will go probably about there back wheels um, and if you're thinking this is a small model um, for those of you that don't know, there's obviously going to be a bracket goes into there because I believe the uh, the bonnet flips up that way rather than the more common that way. Um, but you know, we're three months in, and oh, do you know what? Oh, I feel really silly now. I've got that the wrong way round because it's a rear engine, isn't it? So the bonnet's going to go there, sorry the front grille's going to go there and the bonnet there. So this is obviously going to be your boot space, front seat's there, back seat's there. Oh I feel really silly now, look. Um, so yeah, that is the Fiat where it's up to now. So what I'm going to do next, while I'm putting these away, I'm trying to keep them nice and neat, is I'm going to show you... Um, uh, JPEGs of all of the instructions um, like I say if you want to look at the instructions in in great detail hit get that pause button ready um, and then uh, there'll be a nice little clip of music playing as well something that I feel fits the mood um, it's actually the song that I've used for my uh, titles um, in fact I'll leave that there for the end shot um, and then um, in the next uh, issue which will be or the next uh, episode which will be next week um, we can start on stage 16